Okay guys, a very quick one here, but this seems to be a breaking story relating to another video I've got coming out today. As many of you will know, the legal profession appears to be missing like a fart in the wind when it comes to the infringement on our rights in the past 506 days of 14 days to flatten the curve or save the NHS. Yes, we've had the odd few cases, but nowhere near enough, and let's be honest, they've all gone nowhere because of the government. But today we got reports coming out and new legal challenges going up against this hotel quarantine nonsense, which should really be called a prison camp. Now, the lawsuit itself is not perfect because it's still kind of accepting two tier medical apartheid, but any legal challenge against this lunacy is obviously a good start in my book. The Telegraph are saying the legal firm PGMBM believes requiring people who are fully jabbed and have recently tested negative for the virus to spend 11 nights in a hotel is an unlawful deprivation of liberty and violates their human rights. This is of course true and is also true of the untested and unjabbed alike. You have not been convicted of no crime so the government has no right to imprison you at its whim especially not for 11 days in a fucking hotel prison camp that you have to pay for. And in fact, that's actually gone up from 1,750 quid to something like 2,250 now, so let me tell you they're just taking the piss even more. At the end of the day, calling it an hotel stay does not stop the assault on your liberty that it is in every sense of the word, which is sort of what is said here. It goes on PGMBM managing partner Tom Goodard said, Mandatory hotel quarantine is a fundamental breach of human rights. It has led to the false imprisonment of people who are fully vaccinated and have tested negative. Prisoners are entitled to more liberty than those forced to quarantine in hotels. Now obviously yes, prisoners are entitled to more liberty than hotel guests as it stands. They have a right to family life which is why they get visits and shit like that. But I have to say him talking about fully jabbed or tested like that actually makes a difference is really quite annoying because at the end of the day human rights are there for everyone. So not only is this there laughably stupid but it's also dangerous. Legal firms should not be normalising discriminatory bullshit based on what medical treatments you might have had or you might not have had. It's against people's human rights end of fucking story. Medical treatments or tests taken is irrelevant to people's human rights. As many will be screaming out, there are literally no conditions for the rights that you have as a fucking human being. Now, of course, I do get that this is an easy route to take for the legal team when using the medical status that the powers that be are actually loving, but the law should apply regardless, I don't even need to say. These toss pots should be fighting for that, even if it makes the case a little bit more difficult. They should know that this is wrong in every sense of the word.